Hey smokers, Draga1 here, and as you saw previously on Akapuku's channel, we've gotten to a certain point in the Open Linux installation where we're stuck because the SD card adapter is, I guess, not getting detected? That, uh, it looked like it deal? didn't have a boot sector flagged. I don't know, because it's just, it wasn't booting on my computer. After we did a full install, it took like three hours. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the Windows 98 machine, and hopefully it will just boot open Linux, and it was just hoping that it was some sort of problem with his motherboard or something, and then we'll just get right back on the road here just to see it at least worked. From what I did see, everything looked pretty amazing, so, you know, let's go! Okay, so I'm going to have to kneel down here, I guess, in order to disconnect this. So I'm probably going to break my VHS SD here. Oh, something moved. I can't tell what it was, but it wasn't good. Doing it blind. Be my eyes, Kirby. Hey. Thanks. Not bad. So we're going Molex. This has the option of floppy power, but we're not going to go floppy power. We're going Molex. And this was the same one, right? I couldn't see. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think there was any other one in there. Hey, did you bend the pins on this? No. Mm. It was just tough to get in. Remember, I had trouble with it as well. Really? <laughs> See? It looks fine, but it's hard. Start from the other side. Now it's all okay. There we go. All right. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, be I'm gonna put story. it on Kirby's head because he's an insulator. <laughs> there. Okay, I'm gonna fire it up, and I hope the boot device is correct. Oh God, it's even noisier than yours. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. <laughs> I like how you have the monitor at like a five degree angle, but <laughs> to make it look like it's straight on the camera. <laughs> you need to have the tripod go up a little more. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm doing! <laughs> it didn't find it. Oh, unless... Oh, I think it needs to go through this part first, because that's what slowed down my boot time. Oh. Was, um... This shit. Okay. High speed shit to shit adapter. <laughs> what? Oh, this is exactly the same thing that happened to you, wasn't it? Not quite. Mine did some weird stuff. It says insert system disk and press enter. It's the exact same error, but a different BIOS. No, 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 because mine was doing something that looked like it was Linux. Okay, well, let's control delete it. Yeah, I'm not really sure. So. Interestingly enough, we have a similar result on my machine. Why is that? I don't know. Maybe I should check the BIOS to see if it's booting off of it. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Good place to start before we switch operating systems again. Um, okay, that's not a good sign. Why is this all set to auto? Hmm. Nothing. Weird. But it showed up in the in the post. Right, but it had to scan for like a day to find it. Well, just uh, I don't know. I can overclock it. Okay, so now these show up. This was not there before, just a couple <laughs> minutes ago. User type hard disk. Oh, we don't want that. Oh, come on. Why can't we cut us a break here, man? Okay, well, you're seeing this. 
There's no way for me to point it to that. So I guess, I mean, I could switch this to the top. See what it does. I don't see why it wouldn't have been. No, it did exactly the same thing. So, um, we'll just go ahead and... Uh, this is our next choice for various reasons that will be revealed to you at another time, but we're switching over to this. Sousa returns. Alright, so we're now booting off of the disk. So it can detect the CD drives. I Now it doesn't even try to boot to the CD drive that it already knows is there. And it will detect things. So then it finds it. Whenever it does that scan, then it finds it. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Have a lot of fun. Period, period, period. Does that motherboard have any ISA ports on it? What if it does? <laughs> Is it going to be over? What's the what's the uh, processor? No, no ISA. And I think it's a... Uh, I have no idea, to be honest. It's like a 2.4 gigahertz something or other. AMD or Intel? Mm. One of the two? One of the two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not a Cyrix. We're on track for mm. some greatness. <laughs> How do I not remember that? I probably it's in the description for the ninety eight machine <laughs> rebuild video, I'm pretty sure. It's not doing anything. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, I wonder if Mandrake Linux would work on your computer. Well, I got further with Mandrake Linux. At least I got it started up and working in the With yours? You wanna try yours? No no, not with my main computer. It's no, a, no, I mean Oh, my Mandrake Linux. Yeah. I'm not installing that garbage again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I did it once, I'm not going to do it again. And I think I did it on this computer. I can't remember. Is it is really just nothing happening here? Is, are you really going to do this? Like, I, I think that it's just like some malicious intent of these software developers or something at this point. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm losing it just a little. Control, delete doesn't work. Always a good time. I think both of our motherboards suck. Yeah, pretty much. Just because they're old. Yeah. I could have sworn I didn't have this much trouble back in the day. Well, back in the day being like 10 years ago. Not really like 20 years ago. Yeah. When we were like 10 years ago. And I was using some old shit, and like I could have sworn this wasn't this hard. Okay, so loading. It's loading something. It's loading Linux. <laughs> that's That's the idea. Yes. <laughs> Maybe it's just another one of those things we gotta wait for. Press Control F1. Control Alt F1. Yes. Ugh. All right. That goes to TTY1, which is usually where Linux puts all the boot up information. I went through F3. Nothing. Kirby, did you fuck us over? <laughs> That's the same SD to IDE adapter you have, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> I used it with a with a PowerMac G3 though. Well, now G4. Kick but... that, because those are just so much less picky about what hardware you put in them. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it works. I, I don't know. And it's about from the same time period too. So. The balls. Well, the next step is to put it into a more modern machine and see if that works. <laughs> Currently, it does have a, it should have a bootable operating system on this. So it's just a matter of booting off of it, right? Yeah, I guess. So let's do that. <laughs> work, yes. If Kirby doesn't help us, I'm going to be mad. If this doesn't work, I swear <laughs> to God. I got to get his working somehow. What did I do with the adapter? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Oh, guess what? You don't have IDE on there? Uh...
Maybe. <laughs> uh, where's that SATA to IDE adapter? Oh my god, the levels are complicated. <laughs> Get it. You'd almost be better off just putting the SD card in a USB adapter and booting off you that. Know what? Why don't I just do this? <laughs> Put it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Oh man, yeah. Just do that. Okay, so screw this. This is not gonna work. That thing sucks. <clears throat> you know, I think <clears throat> I actually bought that at Goodwill. You bought this? Yeah, I think so. Is this supposed to go on upside down? Oh god. And then that one's even louder than both previous computers. It shouldn't be. I was kidding. Well, would have been funny. So we're dealing with a Core 2 quad now. Should not be stopping us here. Um, that's not a good sign. It's also not a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> it hard froze, dude. Did I fr did I fry this by plugging this in upside down? Oh, I'd prefer. Oh, that would be sad. Uh, but there's no connector. The connectors are on the top. Yeah, there shouldn't be. That, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, it looks like it's got an access light, like it's doing something. Hmm. I think it just stops there. Unplug the SD card. Restart the computer. Got to hold it down, Jesus. <laughs> I think your SD card's fucked, dude. That's, uh, why it's, that's why it's doing this. Oh, would you look at that? Oh man. <laughs> oh, it worked that time. Oh, it's still not it's plugged still in. Still not plugged in, yeah. <laughs> now we put it in. Uh huh. There is something wrong with this. There has to be. I don't know what you did. But it's just got to be. I don't know. You want to use a partition utility on your computer to try and check it? <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time I tried that, we've got a thingy. you got to be shitting me. It doesn't matter how it's plugged in. It just doesn't want to start out. It will not get past this point unless... This is unplugged. Okay, so how about I just unplug it, unpair it, just put the transcend. I bet it will work. <laughs> there it is. I can check it on my computer, but I need to have access to my computer. Oh, I need to move, is what you're saying? Yeah, it's just getting more and more difficult to get to my computer. Okay, so I'm going to take a little breather and do that. So, we're using the SD card adapter used in the Ultimate DOS machine. And uh, we'll do a bunch of things here. And it will uh, detect it, just like it did the other one. It does have to go through a long detection process. Probably resolved if I were to move the IDE cables around so that uh, the card reader was on a totally different channel of IDE. Yeah, if it was on the primary channel. But as you can see here, it seeks the floppy drive, and then it restarts again. Yay. We've been letting it boot loop for a good five minutes here. It doesn't do anything. So that's what it does off of the SD card reader used in the Ultimate DOS machine. It has the SD card with the open Linux on it, but it doesn't, it's only changed so much. But yeah, my face win. All right, in an effort to make this thing actually work, I'm going to DD a backup of the SD card install to a real hard drive because it looks like none of the computers like the SD card to IDE adapters. Yeah, or possibly the SD card at all. Hey, Kirby, what are you doing? We're supposed to be using an SD card for this. What are you doing using a hard disk? Hey, wait, wait, what, 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 what? Oh, God! Oh, okay, oh, okay, I'll, I'll do it! So, thanks to the good reasoning and advice from our Star Warrior ally, we, as he says, we do not need the uh, SD card, so we could go ahead and boot this up off of a regular mechanical hard drive, just to have a nice fresh install of Open Linux. Yeah! Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be fine. Uh, this will boot right up, and uh, we'll be good. No drives attached. I'm gonna switch some cables around.
detecting primary master. <laughs> Jesus Christ. None. What is wrong with this thing? What is wrong with our computers, man? Hey, it detected the drive immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it still have to detect? It already found it. <laughs> that's bullshit. That's total. That's total bullshit. It found it. Oh, what? What? That's working. Um. So it didn't. It's just we're catching it mid-install now. No, this is it. This is normal boot. Oh, this is what it looks like. Yeah. So Kirby was kind of right. Um. We actually totally reinstalled Open Linux on uh, another hard drive. It was actually this one, and this is the one that Kirby was trying to install to get us to to get back to hard disks here. But uh, this one wasn't actually detected. This drive may be failing. So um, what we actually did was we took that SD card right here, and we. Did a DD copy as seen earlier uh, onto mechanical dri another mechanical drive, and somehow it is able to boot off of it. That means that we were somehow supposedly able to install Open Linux onto this, but we weren't able to boot from it. Every computer hated it, but once we took the data that was on this and put it on a mechanical drive, it's able to at least show us something. The question is now: Is it working? Oh, uh, okay. Well, that helps. No, oh, it didn't get installed. Can I start? You can't. Oh, okay, K D E. No screens found. Oh. Need to reinstall it. <laughs> <laughs> Nvidia unknown chipset. No, it is not. So why don't you get your uh, why don't you get your ninety eight machine over here booting off of this thing? Because the mouse doesn't work. Well, I you know you know what I just wanted to start up. That's <laughs> I, guess, I guess it already started up before. It did. But well, it didn't start up. It just didn't shut off after it installed. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Are we gonna call this? I mean, we're how many hours into this are we? Oh, God. Okay, so while um, we were doing a DD operation to um, that drive, Akapakuku was over here doing a full reinstall and uh, <coughs> tried essentially getting it set up on the his 98 machine, which we sort of cast aside as part of the process because we thought it was not working. But... Uh, yeah, the kernel panic. But again, that was not from his, the drive that he was using over here. So this is what happens when we tried to use the drive we were just using, the one we uh, DD'd. And that's what it would do before, because I had the DVD drive connected, I think it was. But the DVD drive is definitely not. <laughs> oh, that was the original error you're yeah. getting? Oh my god, a long time ago. Now, this should be custom tailored to this machine, and should work pretty much without a hitch. So no kernel panic yet. And the reinstallation actually worked. Uh, why don't we run through the graphic user interface options now that we can't. Oh, because the wizard's gone. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> that was the coolest part of this whole thing. I'm sure there's another place you can do this. All right, let's see this. So this is the default KDE thing. And then we have the Windows theme. Mac OS theme, and then finally the BOS theme. I think we should go with Mac OS theme. Considering everything we've been through, you know. <laughs> it's pretty funny that the serial mouse doesn't work either. Totally useless. So one thing I noticed when I was working with the SD card files of this, I tried to copy all the files off, and it got hung up on a folder called 3DFX, which is the Voodoo graphics card. So this distribution may include 3D drivers already. So we're going to go ahead and try a 3D Linux game. 
Good God. Alright, so a nice sealed copy of Tux Racer here. I'm gonna open this up. I can't believe that's sealed. It's not sealed, it's a penguin. <laughs> here you are seeing it. The only sealed copy left being opened. Alright, so we got our disc. And oddly, the only CD drive that has so far worked has been the CD changer. So I'm gonna put it in there. I mean, I totally blocked that with my hand. Is there a special command? We oh, it popped right up. I don't know how this is gonna work. Uh, we got set up that SSH or SH. Let's see what that does. Mm. Let me open the terminal. Wow, Wine is installed on this. Is it? it says Wine, the Windows version Whoa, of it. Oh, that'd be cool. Except it's like old Windows 98 Wine. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it's nearly midnight. Oh my god, it's actually doing shit. <laughs> Is that the license agreement? <laughs> yep. I agree to disagree. We've got the manual here. Ooh, fan. Oh, we got split screen. We're gonna have to try that. It's the only way we can multiplayer. But yeah, there's no uh, online site. Not to think of. Here. Yep, there we go. That was the whole manual for Tux Eraser. Ooh, at least this has color print. There we go. All right, we're installing English. I think I know someone who may want to install French. Well, no, this is going to compound the issue right now. All right. Uh, you want to install desktop items here? Yes. I want to say 80. I thought it was already installed. <laughs> All right, whatever. What is all that shit? Well, this is the actual files. I think now it's copying them. I don't know what it did before. Maybe, maybe it had to extract everything into a temporary directory. It's like if I open another terminal here, ls temp c. We got anything here? Fm Zero. Oh, permission denied. Well, I would have permission for it. Um, let's try LST. That's not it. So, I don't know. I'm not really sure. It's really weird using Linux that's nearly 20 years old and all the same things just work. Like, I just instinctively did Control D and just boop, log out. But Linux hasn't changed because it didn't need to change. So, it just works. It's awesome. Except it, it, when yeah, you spend eight hours to get it fucking set up. Yeah, that's true. And when, you know, you want to use a mouse and you can't. But it's a good thing they made the keyboard work very well. Is it done? Yeah. Okay. Ready to launch the game? I am absolutely 100% ready. Just sweet price. I've never, yeah. se I've never seen a Y-N prompt in French that would just be O and N. <laughs> it, it didn't launch? No, uh, it wasn't a capital Y. It doesn't, it shouldn't have to be, but, I don't know, let's just do it. Oh, uh, shit. Do you know where it is? Yeah, well, I installed it manually to this location. So, it's going to be Tux Racer. Really? Really. So... doesn't have lib G G doesn't have GL, open GL. So even though there was a 3DX folder somewhere in there, it's not going to find it. You need an Ethernet cable? Uh, no way. Do you think I'm going to apt get open GL?
Well, that was fun. Not. Well, at least we got to see a cool install process. Yep. No terminal install. Well, that was uh, disappointing. Hey, right, you know, for grins and giggles, let's see if we can install the wine version. So we're setting up wine? Yeah, why not? Let's try it. It'll be hilarious if this works, but the other doesn't. Is it done now? Is it given up? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's not working. Oh, Voodoo 3 officially supported. Where? Right, right here, Voodoo 3. By what? Boom, Voodoo 3. But that's under Windows, so... So we're good. Perfectly without supported it. video cards Linux. NVIDIA only. Yeah. Hey! What's the one that's in your 98 machine? Oh no. Is it a GeForce oh, 2? It's not gonna work. It can't boot off the Z3 installed all over again. There's just no way. I mean another three hours to yeah, another install. There is a way. That way just sucks. Oh what? You want me to put in an uh NVIDIA TNT in there? In here? No, because then we know it won't boot, because that won't boot with the Voodoo 3 drivered up install. So it has to be reinstalled. So you're gonna have to reinstall this no matter what. Basically. Dude, this sucks. <laughs> Tofu <laughs> Linux is terrible. <laughs> that's this game though that's only GeForce. There was a, there's a 3DFX folder buried in there somewhere. Yeah, it doesn't change anything. Oh man. Alright, well, yeah, it says this game doesn't support it, so whatever. Alright. So, I think it's GG, dude. Yeah, basically.